at our demo and the first step is to actually go to the connectors configuration page to set up a connector. The first connector we'll be setting up is a connector for ServiceNow. As you can see, it's available in the list of ticketing webhooks. Let's give it a name. And we'll go call it Webinar ServiceNow Connector. We need to replace my instance value with the valid value from ServiceNow. Let's go ahead and do it. And uh, you can see that custom headers are required. However, they have been pre-populated already. Next is authorization header, which ServiceNow specifies that you need to use a basic authorization. Let's go ahead and use one. And you can see that we're generating, creating this connector to be used for incidents. Uh, the conversion from our incident format to the target system format is going to be using JQ transformations. And this is the template. And you can see here JQ transformations from incident threat rating critical to one, for example, because that's the value for critical in ServiceNow. As you can see, we have provided everything that is required. Let's go ahead and test it. You can see that our incident connector was successfully tested. Let's go ahead into ServiceNow and refresh it. And here we see that a brute force attempt from one to three has been generated. And this is a uh, sample incident. And we can open it up and we can see that this is the customer, this is the deployment, this is the details, and here's even the link into our uh, portal that one can follow. One of the things that I would like to perhaps do is to populate assignment group with the value that I require to be set to for security incidents. Well, let's see how we can do it in our uh, payload template. In order to do that, we're just going to go ahead at the end and add assignment group value and give it the value of SOC. And uh, this assignment group field comes from incident schema of ServiceNow table. Let's go ahead and test it. And we can see that it was tested successfully. Let's go ahead and see if it was generated. And sure enough, we can see that the assignment group SOC was placed. Great, we like our connector now. Let's go ahead and save it. And we can see that the ServiceNow category now appears and we can see that this was created for incidents. Let's go ahead and create another connector for Microsoft Teams. And what we would like, instead of sending an incident to Microsoft Teams, we would like to send a notification when a scheduled report completed. Let's give it a name. Let's give it a name reports. From Microsoft Teams, you would need to get a target URL. Uh, you can refer to Microsoft Teams documentation where to get it. Uh, I have already saved it, and here is one easy to remember uh, target URL. Uh, the conversion format is going to be JSON, which means that anything that we see in double curly braces is taken from the payload. Uh, this is a fairly sophisticated uh, template that will even include an option to view report in our portal or download it. Let's go ahead and test it. We see that the connector was successfully tested. Let's go ahead and Microsoft Teams and verify it. And you can see that this was created. And you can see these are the options uh, to download report or to view report in the portal. So this is also great. Let's go ahead and save it. And now we see Microsoft Teams group appearing and webinar service connector for reports is present there. So this has completed, we have completed the first part of our demo, which is to set up connectors. But in order to receive notifications for incident via this connector, we need to go into unified notifications 
which is under Manage Notifications. And first we'll create a notification for all the incidents to go to the service now. In order to do that, we're going to say Create Incident Notification. We're going to give it a name. We're going to select all threat levels and we're going to subscribe a connector we just created. And this is an example of the payload that will actually be sent based on the sample payload that we have, but the format is the same. And you can see the state will be eight, the severity would be two, urgency would be two, and here's our assignment group. So it's present there as well. That's great. Uh, well, perhaps I don't want to receive emails as well, so I'm going to remove myself from here, and I'm going to save it. And that's it. Now when in, an incident is generated, it will be sent to the uh, ServiceNow incidents table. Well, that's great. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, configure receiving scheduled report notification in our Microsoft Teams. We're going to select scheduled reports daily, and we will like to subscribe to daily log anomaly analysis. Great. We're going to go ahead and edit this notification. We're going to subscribe a connector, and the connector we will choose is the Microsoft Teams connector. And you can see this is the payload that we will be sending based on the sample payload. And now we can update it. And with that, we now have configured daily log anomaly analysis report uh, notification to be sent to Microsoft Teams so that I can be working and seeing the Microsoft Teams notification pop up and go ahead and view the report or download the report. This concludes our demo. Thank you.